Hey guys, Kayla and Caroline. I'm here to show you how to make like magic dough. <laughs> so let's get started. So first, you will need um, like a set of tablespoons and teaspoons of stuff, um, a cup of cornstarch, a little bowl of water, and a bowl. So first, we are going to get the teaspoons and get the scooping fill of it and pour it in. Make sure it's all in. And then get another one. Okay. Make sure it's all in. So after that, I want you to get the same thing, but put four teaspoons of your water in. It does not matter what temperature your water is. One. Okay. So, I did that. So now, this is the fun part. Um, you can use a spoon, but it takes the fun of it. So now, just mix it up with your hands. You should use one hand because you should you should need another hand. So if it starts looking like this, that's okay. All you need to do is add a little water. So don't get your tablespoon. You can either get your one fourth of a tablespoon or your one and a half. I'm going to use my one and a half and pour it in once. Now I'm going to mix it up. That did not work. So now I'm going to get a, a tablespoon. No, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. Put it up and pour it on there. There we go. Getting the consistency. The consistency. The consistency I want. Consistency for you. So, when you want to do your bowl, so it should look like. Um, you could add food coloring, but you would need gloves so your hands don't get stained. So, if it looks like this when you pick it up, and it falls like that, um, that's okay. But if you want a better consistency, just keep adding cornstarch. And an easy way to get it off, the stuff off, without using a paper towel, just rub it against there. Just rub it. It looks like liquid, like a slow, runny liquid. See? But it's actually not, so I have it. Get it, pick it up. It's hard when I pick it up because if I run my fingers against it, it's not liquidy, see? It's really cool how cornstarch, just cornstarch and water can do this. Like, yeah! <laughs> so now I'm going to get uh, more cornstarch. So, not a lot. Get yeah, one fourth of a tablespoon. And put it in there. And don't do heaping, just make sure it's just enough. Dump it in there. Okay. So I did that. I can mix it. it. Should get the consistency I want. Consistency. I don't know how to say. It. I really can't. So I should do it one more time. Just one more time. And maybe not even one fourth. Maybe that should get a lot. And um, still do a little bit. Okay. There. Okay, that's turning out pretty good. There, yeah, that's the consistency we need. Okay. And um, sometimes it can be messy. See, look. If I pick it up, it's not really that messy, but it can be. So. My throat hurts and I'm really sick right now. And I'm inside. I can't start out. 
So yeah, it's snowy here. Well, not snowy, but it feels like it's snowy outside. So now to better from this state, it's not as liquidy as but it does melt in your hand. And it's really cool because it's a consistency. Yay, I said it right! <laughs> the consistency of um, the gooey I want. So, yeah. Okay, so this is pretty much my video on how to make magic pudding. Melting magic pudding. But that's a good name for it. So, comment down below what a good name would be for this pudding. And if you actually do want to make this at home, all you need is cornstarch, any brand, it doesn't really matter, um, any temperature water, a teaspoon, and, I don't know, temperature water, of course, and a bowl, <laughs> but, oh, you have that, so, yeah, alright, thanks guys, see ya, bye!